Right, time for a look in uh, the Red Bull Racing Garage. So the garage is laid out with two cars. On the right hand side, Daniel Ricciardo. On the left hand side, Max Verstappen. So mechanics, pit crew helmet ready for pit stop tomorrow. The cars aren't actually here at the moment, they're in Park Ferme. This is the center of action during the course of the Grand Prix weekend. So engineers are based here at these stations. All the mechanics tools should be neatly away. Um, obviously then we have tire racks and so on within the garage for during the Grand Prix and qualifying itself. Above the car, we've got a light box and computer screens that drop down for when the, the car is here. So we can uh, keep the driver informed. He can have a look at the sector times, replays, data. For the, for the special VIPs, we have the hot tub here um, that uh, is uh, you know, to experience the action right, uh, right in a qualifying or a Grand Prix. Doesn't have any water in, but uh, it's great to get people close and live and into the action. Over here we have Nigel, most important member in the garage. Um, Nigel could uh, Nigel could probably change all four wheels single-handedly in about seven seconds. Gerard's responsible for getting all this stuff around the world, making okay. sure that it looks like this wherever we go at all uh, 20 to 21 races. Um, this is Daniel's side of the garage again, exactly the same layout, complete symmetry between the between the two sides. Then we'll have a look behind the scenes. I'm not really supposed to show you this, but we'll have, we'll have a quick look. This area here is, is where all the telemetry comes into, chassis and, uh, and engine telemetry. Um, and this is transmitted live back to, uh, to Milton Keynes. So they see real time exactly what we see at the circuit. So thanks to our connection through AT&T. Then in this part of the garage, uh, we've got, again, all the team radios. Um, we have all our oil analysis and fuel analysis going on here from our partner ExxonMobil that uh, are able to do their own on-site laboratory tests. But uh, then basically we have you know, sub-assembly spares and components that are basically, I'm not going to show you in here because there's far too much sensitive stuff. It's, this garage goes to all 20 to 21 races around the world. It's the same layout pretty much depending on the garage size where, wherever we go um, and uh, so whenever we're wherever we are in the world it's it's our little piece of home right we're now going to have a look around what we affectionately refer to as the tree house there's no trees involved even though there's a chainsaw in the background this is where all the race engineers are based during the course of a, a European Grand Prix we don't take this to the flyaway races and where the race engineers conduct all the briefings and debriefs so let's go and have a look so this is a little breakout area between meetings. Sometimes, you know, the engineers want to get a breath of fresh air or something like that. So this is just a little breakout area uh, that we have here. All right, let's go and have a look. So within this office environment, basically we have the team manager and race support over here. The two sides of, uh, of, of the car crews. So on this side is Daniel Ricardo's um, car crew and engineer, this is Simon. Daniel's race engineer, and then on the other side, Max's uh, crew is based again, um, simultaneously mirroring, you know, the the functions from side to side of the table. And then we'll have the head of the different engineering functions at the head of the table. So I'll sit in the middle for the debriefs and uh, and various briefings that take place over the weekend. The key thing about this uh, this room is that we're connected again back to the UK at. Uh, each and every single race that we attend. So live back to our operations room, you can see the guys, there's a few of them having a stretch on the screen there. Uh, back in Milton Keynes, that they attend every meeting that we have during the course of a Grand Prix weekend. So again, thanks to our connection through AT&T, that puts us live um, communication between trackside and factory, no matter where we are in the world. So it actually saves us a huge amount of money because otherwise all those people need to come to the race to hear what the drivers and what the race engineers have to say. So having this connectivity uh, really brings the two elements of factory and trackside firmly together. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed the tour of the treehouse. I'm gonna have to kick you out now because obviously the guys are gonna get into a debrief. So uh, thanks for joining us and see you next time.